Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about amplitude dance. Kind of a play on words here, but I want you to kind of get a feel for your room. Uh, you know, let's use some numbers. Everybody's always crying, measurements, measurements, measurements. But here's the problem. People don't know what the measurements mean. You can have all the numbers in the world, but if that doesn't translate to what you hear and what you know, you like and feel about music, what can the numbers mean? They can show you problems in the room, low frequency, mid frequency, high frequency problems. They can show you reverberation uh, time issues. They can give you parameters to work within. But the real key to you know, understanding those dimensions is what, what does that mean in terms of my music and voice? You know, well, that's a crazy curve, so we can, we know right away what, what that means, okay? That means too much, that means too little, okay, within an index. So the bottom line here is you got to kind of think a little bit like your room reacts, because the room only sees energy, and it's going to react based on dimensions, it's going to sound based on material types. It's going to keep noise out based on proper readings and proper barrier technology. There's a lot going on in a room that people don't really think about. Take for granted because we're, we're in them all the time. I get it. So sound pressure is, is the measure of how much energy is in that room. That's what the room sees. If the room had eyes, that's what it would see constantly okay i always wanted to design a room that has pressure sensitive led panels i'm sure it can be done so that every place in the room you could see the frequency and the amplitude with a color maybe we make red the low frequency so you could see the red parts of the room where low frequency is impacting that wall surface because it's different usually for every wall so it would be neat to have a LED censored or, you know, room where the pressure against that wall surface was exhibited in a LED light array. You could get a real good feeling for what goes on in a room. Probably make you dizzy in real time. So the sound pressure meter or dB meter, as a lot of people call it, you know, that measures decibels, which is a unit of measure pressure. Doesn't mean anything, right? Okay, unit of measure decibel. But here, Let's, let's give some examples, and I think you'll, you'll understand. Normal speed, 60, 65 dB SPL. Okay, there's a reference. Jet engine, 170 dB SPL. That can blow your eardrums out, okay? So there's two extremes, so to speak, minimums and maximums that, that we can look at and reference. So get yourself an SPL meter. They're all over the place. You can find them. In the studio here, we use the nine inch ones, mainly so I can see them without glasses. And uh, make sure they're calibrated, you know, they're, they're pretty close, they're not gonna be exact, but they're pretty close. And then take that pressure meter and put it between your speakers. If you have floor standers, put it between the speakers. Stand it on top, put it on top of the speaker. Put one on top of the left, one on top of the right. Put one on top of the gear, maybe. And watch, you know, watch how things move. Here's a, an example, a short little clip of what goes on in my two-channel rig, in my a new multi-channel studio. You can see things moving all the time, up and down, mins and maxes, pressure variances, low frequency pressure, right, produces the greater reading more pressure. So everything is kind of lumped together in this measurement, but that's not the point. The point is just look at how it varies in real time with the music. I mean, it can, it can go 2 dB variance, it can go 4 dB, 6 dB, 10 dB maybe, right? So you get this time domain and you get this huge pressure variance, you know, between this point and this point all the time moving, you know, it's like, wow, up and down. So that's what the room sees. 
put a SPL meter. We're going to do that here in the uh, multiple channel studio. We're going to put a pressure meter uh, reading on each wall surface and see if, how that varies. So we can look at all of that. So what does all this variance mean? Well, if you're a room and you're getting hit with all this, you know, energy uh, types and amplitudes, the treatment must have the proper rate and level to deal with all of that, right? The treatment has to be consistent because what you're treating is not. It's the farthest thing from consistency that you could get. 50 dB in one second, 60 dB in another. Now I met, project that onto each wall surface. And you can imagine the, the variables that the room has to deal with. So the treatment must have rate right and level. It's got to. We got to have some predictability and consistency in this nightmare. So we have to have treatment that's predictable and consistent. But more important, it has to have the right level, rate and level for music and voice. And they're different. Most of the products in the marketplace, especially those building installation products, get as much as we can per square foot. It's not how you treat music and voice. You don't change energy from music and voice into another form through friction. You don't change energy in the heat and have absorption in order to manage it. In a sense, you're destroying it in order to manage it. Not good. It's when you get overabsorbed rooms, too dead, lifeless mid ranges, no realism. This is the problem. So, rate and level are critical. So, I thought this would be a little fun exercise to get you thinking about how the room sees things, not what you want or what you think, but what the room sees. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.